everyone, welcome back to my Patreon or welcome to my Patreon if you guys are new. If you are new, thank you so much for signing up. I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, this is the beginning of our Patreon journey together. I'm really excited to be finally uploading on here. Um, if you came from my YouTube, then you know what the deal is going to be. Basically, every Monday, there's going to be a new video on my YouTube and on my Patreon at the same time. Um, so yeah, you guys already have the right ID. You've already signed up. You already know what's going on. And I'm really excited about it. So basically... What's going to go down is like each week I'm going to have like a theme for both my Instagram and my Patreon. So this week's theme is just like drag. Very simple. Very like high glam drag. So I'm going to do another like glammy drag look on here and I'm really excited. So I've already got my contacts in um, and I'm going to cover my brows really quickly right now and then I'll be back and we'll get started. So see you guys in two seconds. Bye. Alright, I'm back. Cover the eyebrows. We're going to straight in with our paint stick. You know what's up. Alright, so straight on to some Alright, so straight onto some concealer. Taking my Marc Jacobs concealer. Remarkable concealer in um three young. Starting off with this. Okay, and now my new favorite thing that I like to do is I like to add a bit of um my white paint stick. Especially for these like really draggy looks, just to kind of highlight it just a tiny bit more. Now blend all that. Okay, next is contour. So straight on to our Kevin D shade and light palette. Taking the darkest color. Okay, blend that. Okay, so for nose contour, we're gonna move on to a smaller brush, taking our dark contour color again. And figuring this out. Okay, so using the same brush, I'm going to go in with that concealer and fix it up. Okay, now go back in with our concealer brush, just whatever's left on it, and go back up the sides here. This will really help to um, contour the nose. Okay, dope. We are done. Let's set all of this now. Okay, so we're gonna go straight up the eyebrows first because they need to be set first and as soon as possible. Okay, then everywhere else. Okay, let's keep going. So getting rid of all this. Forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, but I did put primer on. And I've never really like used primer, like religiously. But I cannot recommend it highly enough. It's really making it look so much better. Okay, let's move on to some powders. So I'm going to take my light filtering contour powder, Marc Jacobs. Just using this on the highlighted areas. Now in with our Cap on D Shed Light Palette, taking the darker shade, we're going to do some contour. Different brush for our nose, same contours. Alright, so like usual, straight after contours, we go in with bronzer just to um, warm it all up. Bit of blush, <clears throat> gonna do an orangey sort of blush this time, just taking an orange eyeshadow. Okay, and lastly, just baking. So we're gonna take our white Krylon setting powder and let's do it. <clears throat> All right, let's start with some eyes. So we're gonna do blue. Yeah. 
I'm gonna take this bright blue up here. This is the Morphe 35B palette. I'm just gonna really quickly cut out a quick crease. So I'm not going too high, sort of keeping it just underneath the brow bone, back down. Taking a blending brush, just a small one, and just slightly start to blend that all together. Doesn't matter, you can blend it up and down, because we're going to cut a crease later on, but mostly it's going to be up. I think the main focus of this look is going to be the brows. This is like very... Naomi Smalls sort of inspired. Huge, huge, huge brows. So I'm just going in with a bigger blending brush. Not a whole lot of shadow on it. Just a little bit. I'm just using that to continue to blend. Also, what I find easier is if you kind of bring this down here, because this is all going to be covered by eyeliner anyway. If you bring this down here, it's easier to sort of blend up and make it look more natural. Because you're going to feel that like natural um, where it's like meant to actually be instead of just trying to guess. I hope that makes sense. Okay, I'm mixing a bit of this with some white now. Just on the outer corners here. Again, this is going to help to like really blend. Okay, so we've got that pretty much good. Now, we're going to go in with a tiny bit of a dark colour. This is the Marc Jacobs. Ah! Oh my god. Smartorial palette. Mm. It's bright electric blue here, just on our small little blending brush. And we're gonna just slightly blend that into the crease. Kind of just keeping it on the outer corners here and like blending it slowly into the inside. And with a bigger brush. So I think that is it for now. So we're going to cut the crease and then we're going to come back and do the rest. All right, just going in with some concealer and a small brush here to cut this crease. white powder, white shadow, just to set that so we can move on. Okay, dope. Okay, so next is eyeliner. So we're gonna go in and do quite a big wing line. I'm gonna take my Kat Von D tattoo liner and we're going to try and do this without fucking it up. Let's just following that same line that we created with the eyeshadow. Cool, let's go back to shadows now. So, back in with our original blue, and we're gonna start blending this together over the top of that crease there. So I think what we're gonna do is just go like real glittery in the lid, because I want this to be very dramatic, I want this to be like very drag, and we're not really messing around. So I'm gonna find some glitter, and I'll be back. So I found some glitter. It's this color. It's very blue, it's very pretty. I'm just gonna take my eyelash glue and a flat um, brush here. I'm gonna paint this all over the crease. Very carefully. Okay. So we have our glitter on our lids. Okay, I think our eyes are Pretty much done for now. We'll move on to the bottoms later, but I'm gonna do some brows so we can really figure out the shape and stuff. 
Okay, so like I said at the beginning, this is very Naomi Smalls inspired. So we're going to do some really, really big, thick brows. I'm going to take my cream contour here on just a tiny flat brush. And we're going to try and map out some brows real quick. Okay, so now that we're getting to the front, I'm going to start mixing the dark contour colour with just my regular foundation colour. So we can get a nice ombre and it's not so dark. And now in with our darker colours. Um, I do want to make this quite dark because we are wearing a dark wig. So I don't want to just like have it be whatever. Done. I'm actually just going to set it with my air spun. I've never tried this. But I, just, I just feel like that's going to be the easiest way to do it. Okay. Now, very, very carefully brush all that back. Okay. There you go. That worked. And just a heads up, if you do do that at that point and some of it smudges or whatever, it doesn't matter because... Um, you've got to do this next step anyway, which is like carving them out with our um, foundation. So this is the point where we go in and clean it all up. So same brush, same concealer brush, and go in all around and just fix up. Just mixing a little bit of my white paint stick in as well, just to um, try and highlight at the same time. Eyebrows are officially done. Freaking hell. That just took me like half an hour. It's honestly my favorite part of it, of like any look, is the brows. I love it. It's like the satisfaction you get from like doing like a real like snatched brow. Oh my god. Like nothing compared. It's so good. Okay, we're gonna move down here. Oh. Okay, so before we do anything, we need to do our inner corners here. So I'm gonna take my um, eyeliner again. Now, I'm gonna do some white. So this is like really basic drag stuff here. So we're pretty much just doing like a basic drag eye. But I'm always down for that. I feel like it's always cute. White paint stick, a little brush. Okay, and I'm continuing the white into our, um, like into our crease. Oh, what's it called? Eye something or other. What's it called? Yes! It's actually looking really fierce. I really, really, really like this look a lot. Um, okay. Moving on to the bottom now. I'm going to take, um, I'm actually going to put a little bit of powder on for fallout because we don't want that. Okay. Now, going in with our original blue. The bright blue. I'm going to lightly start to, um, Blend this on the bottom here. So I don't think we're gonna go all the way into the middle, we're gonna kinda of stop halfway. Okay, that is it. That's all you get. Alright, let's move on to some um, mascara. 
And then we're almost done, really. Okay, so heaps of mascara, obviously, um, top and bottom. Actually, I'm not going to do mascara on the bottom. Because we're going to do lashes underneath. Okay, gorgeous. So before we move on to, um, very last thing is, of course, lashes. But we're going to do more stuff real quick. Alright, so in with some highlighter. This is the Kat Von D. Shane Light, um, Metal Crush Highlighter Palette. Okay, so everything else is done besides lashes, of course, but we're going to move on to lips. So, um, going to do huge red lips because we've got brown hair and then the rest of the outfit's red. So it's sort of that kind of vibe. So I'm taking the um, Kat Von D Lip Liner in Outlaw. I'm going to outline our lips. A lipstick, gonna take the Marc Jacobs um, Lamarck lipstick in O'Malley, bright red. I was gonna add lip gloss, but I don't think I'm going to. I kind of like the matte lip. Um, okay, cool. So that's it. I'm gonna add some lashes and they'll be done. I'll be right back. See you in two seconds. All right, we're done. This is the finished look. So, as for lashes, these were the same ones I wore on my, my YouTube video this week. These are just the cheap ones off eBay. I don't have the link. I don't know. I had, I've had them for so long. Um, but those are them. And then I'm also wearing these. I don't know where I got these either. I'm so sorry. Oh, no, I'm not wearing them. I'm not wearing them. I'm wearing these ones. Um, these are the Sugar Pill Firefly lashes. So, they're individuals. And they've got, like, a little, um, like, seat, like, little, I don't know what they are. Like, a like, shimmery thing on them. On the bottom, this is it. I feel gorgeous. I really like how it turned out. It's really pretty. Um, I'm gonna go put on the outfit and the hair and all that, and I'll be back and we'll be done. So I'll see you guys in two seconds. Bye. Okay, this is the finished look. So this wasn't even like my intention to begin with, with this look, but I kind of, I'm so obsessed with how it's turned out. So she's obviously very pin-uppy. She's very cute. This wig is um, from Annabelle Wigs. It's one of my favorites. It's really, really pretty. Um, I also have one in blonde that I've worn quite a few times this, on my YouTube. So it's the same style. And then that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for signing up to my Patreon. Be sure to come back next Monday if you are on my YouTube and you see that I've uploaded. I have uploaded on here as well. So come back here because there's another upload every single time. So this is it. Thank you guys so much for signing up to my Patreon. I so appreciate it. Um, and I'll see you guys next Monday. Thank you. Bye.